Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 80 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I want to play with tick accelerators. That's the plan, at least. So last episode, I did a bunch with uh, with rat kings and all that stuff, and got lots of, a bunch of rats here. I don't know exactly how many I have. Let's let's actually see. Ten rats. Hello, friends. How are you all? Excellent. Uh, so ten seems like a good number to start with for tick accelerating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install tick accelerating upgrades in, in each of you guys. So you come with me. Oh boy, that, they, okay, that's cool today I learned. Cool and cool. You three come with me. Hey buddies. Um, the plan for today is to play with tick accelerators a little bit, and then there's a whole different project I want to work on uh, that's completely unrelated to rats or anything else. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but for now, I just want to mess with these guys to see how much they tick accelerate things, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these three here, and I'm going to pop down a furnace, cooking up a little bit of cobblestone into smooth stone. So we can kind of see the speed at which this moves. So let's use tick accelerating. Let's see. Do I want to just do doot, and then he'll go on there? And oh, wow, that's actually a noticeable speed improvement. Now, if I come up here and punch again, do we have two there? There we go. Now we have two. Is that even faster? Feels a little bit faster. Oh, man. You know Dyer and his tick accelerating. You know I'm a fan. You know I'm a fan. I can't tell if that's faster or not. Oop. Now, if I take you two off, that's faster, right? That's definitely faster. All right. So now that we have an idea, now that we have an idea, I should be able to do this. There we go. And they all just chill there, and that's perfection. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tick accelerating rat bag. <laughs> yeah. So that's your plan, right? We're going to we're going to pick a, pick up rats with tick accelerators on them and we're going to need a handful more rats cuz I have more tick accelerators than I do rats, believe it or not. Uh but that's okay. We can get more rats. Rat kings will help. Um So now you guys should all be tick accelerators, right? This can only end in pain. So now we're watching this thing go, and I'm gonna, whoop. Is there a limit to how much they will take accelerate? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. That is awesome. All right, so um, we've, got, uh, we've got a thing here. We've got a thing. Right here, a little tick accelerator. That is neat. That is neat. Oh yes, that is that is some fastness right there. How cool is that? All right, I just wanted to play with this a little bit today. I don't know how much of a role this is gonna play. Okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I feel like ten's a good number of rats, by the way. Like that was some good tick accelerator. There's definitely diminishing returns on tick accelerators, right? Probably. I'm like, there's probably a limit. Um. Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea if there's any coded limit or any other kind of limit. But I think the, the point is, is that 10 seemed like pretty quick, right? So there's probably not much of a need to go any faster than that. So maybe I'll have two bags of 10 uh, or we'll do something along those lines uh, where I can just say like, hey, I'm working on a machine. It's going a little bit slow. Let's see if we can do something about that. And then boom. And we do something about that, right? Like, you know. Something like one of these guys. Like, there's there's instances where I might want to individually speed up a machine for a short period of time. I we'll see if we wind up wanting to tick accelerate any um, specific machines, right? Uh, and we'll see what happens with that, right? So like if there's something we want to maintain tick accelerating on, we could just leave the rats there. Kind of like this guy's just sitting here ready to do some crafting for me. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I want to I want to work on something completely different. You might have noticed that I've got my digital miner in my inventory here. So I popped over to my whoop, radiation filled zone over here where I've got my Geiger counter. And things are not too bad. And t no, this is not a tick accelerating thing that we're going to be doing here. It's it's cooling down, though. Like, you can see we're in the yellow zone, so that's cool. Uh, and I came over here, and I'm like, why is my reactor off, by the way? I kind of left it running. 
and it's no longer running. It didn't flip, I turned it off, so everything's still safe. We didn't have any heat problems. What we did do is we ran out of fuel. So I'm like, ah, I must be out of uranium as usual. No big surprise there. Oh wait, I have 2,000 uranium ingots. So we're not out of uranium. What's up with that? So I came over here and I'm like, oh, you know what we're out of? Fluorite. There's your problem. So I need to get more fluorite. And I figured now's as good a time as any to do a little bit of automation that I've been wanting to do. All right, so first off, let's talk about how I need fluoride ore. I need fluoride ore. Uh, so I'm gonna bring this guy back over here. Uh, and remember that my main mining rig is not, you know, this. I'm not doing this for all my things, but I am using it for the one-offs. So we're gonna hook this dude up to power, first and foremost. And I'm gonna be ready for a little bit of rats fun. <laughs> and uh, what I'm gonna do is config you new filter. Um, let's actually bring this up so I can see. Flowerite ore. Uh, so it's forge ores, fluorite. Fluorite. So tag forge ores, fluorite. Perfect. Perfect. So if I start you, you've got, you know, 420 ish to do. So now what happens if I put these guys here? <laughs> go, Tick Accelerating Rats, go. <laughs> you guys are the best. You are going to be my new best friends. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. All right. Let's do that again. That was fun. So I'm going to fly. I'm just going to fly to random spots. Like I if if I was like really being manic about it, I could I could like measure out 32 blocks away and then 32 more because it's a rate. No. We're not going to do that, right? So uh you let's see. So if I reset you and start, you've got 540 to go and I'm going to tick accelerate that. Beautiful. Cuz note on the tooltip will increase the tick speed of any block it stands over or under. And this includes crops and machines. It includes crops and machines. How cool is that? So not for nothing, this speeds up crop growth. Speaking of crops, I was literally, just before I was getting started on this episode, taking a peek outside my base. I don't know what happened here, but something clearly happened here. <laughs> what happened here? How did this happen? I cannot envision what caused this to occur. I have no idea what caused this to occur. I mean, I did let a couple rats run loose, remember? So like maybe you guys, are you like... So he is a friendly, friendly rat. Um, you know, he should probably be... He is set to stay here. I don't know why he's staying where he is right now. It's a weird place to stand, but... I don't know what, I don't know where he came, uh, do you think some rats got into it? It's possible? I have no idea. I have no idea. I just work here. So now what I'd like to do, so we've got a bunch of flowerite or fluorite ore. So, so this stuff responds to fortune, right? So, so how do I process you, right? I could throw you in the enrichment chamber, I'll get six. Or I could throw you in the crusher and get six. I kind of wouldn't mind setting up a fortune thingy. So out of curiosity, let's make sure you're on single block mode. Boop. If I break you, I got 12 of those. That is way better. That is way better, Fortune 3, than the 6 that we would get otherwise. Now, I don't know, you know, what my chances are. See, that was 4 that time. That was 3 that time. So do you think it averages out to 6? Or... Do you think it averages higher than six? I'm gonna say that like, it's got to average higher than six, right? Unless it has a chance of giving me one, then the average has to be higher than six, right? I ain't no math dude, but I feel like that's accurate, right? If I got 12 from one of those times, that means the only way it can average out to six is if it's possible to get one, which I don't think it is. So I'm gonna say that Fortune 3 is better than Enrichment Chamber or anything else. So as a result, for that and for, uh, I think also diamonds, I wouldn't mind doing this for, right? Cause am I out of diamonds? I might, I might be out of diamonds. I might be out of diamonds. Like enrichment chamber can give me two. That little crushing wheel can sometimes give me three. Um, I can get five from starlight infusion, but we know that that's tricky to automate. So yeah, 
I'm going to say that fortune's going to be better for diamonds as well. And I might need to do diamonds on my little mine right here too. We'll see. Like I want to supplement my 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 resource generation with with the with the diggy dude here, right? And I might do the same for quartz even. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But the point is is I want to set up automated fortune mining. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, if we got refined storage to do this for me, that would be cool beans, right? What we could use from refined storage is uh, we could use the fortune upgrade, this guy, we don't need F3H on by the way anymore, um, in a destructor and constructor, right? Specifically the destructor, right? So this thing goes into, I wanna say a destructor and then any blocks it breaks, it will apply fortune to. And I hope that that's an accurate statement. And we're gonna test that right now. So uh, I'd like you to know how to make constructors. I don't think you know how to make these yet, right? Uh, you know how to make, no, you don't know how to make destructors. We have one, you just don't know how to craft them, but you're about to learn courtesy of fun times for all. Okay. So get me, we've got a destructor already, but we want a constructor. So that is missing one quartz. So speaking of things that we don't have a lot of, let's pop into here and get some quartz, shall we? I think, I feel like, call me crazy, but I feel like, yeah, I hate you guys. Worst, literally the worst biome. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but magma slimes everywhere is not awesome. Crisis averted. So let's super quick. I and mean, are you guys like actually still running down here? I can only assume that you are. Yeah, I guess so. I guess he's behaving still. So you're gonna go there, and you're gonna go here. Actually, I don't like you being here because um I wanna put the rats under you. So you and you. Where can I stick you? That's gonna be not a messy spot. Right? So here's what I'm gonna set up. You ready? You're gonna go here. With this dude and this dude. And then we're gonna add Quartz, which I assume is just Forge or Quartz, right? Forge ores, Quartz. Yep. Config, new filter, tag, Forge ores, Quartz. Save, good to go. Dealio. Uh, reset and start. Wow, you've got a lot of Quartz ore to find. That's going to take a long time. But wait, there's more. We've got rats. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of RF protect we're using here, but it's probably large. It's going to be a lot of quartz, right? I feel like it's going to be a lot of quartz. I'm very happy with how much quartz that's going to be. Quartz for years. Not days, years. All right. Um, the next thing we're going to have to figure out is how we're going to get a Fortune 3 book. Not that that's super hard, um, but we are definitely going to have to figure out a way to get a Fortune 3 book. I, I feel like we're only going to need one. Because if we automate this properly, we shouldn't need multiple constructors and destructors, but we'll find out. Good job, rats. You guys are already worth your weight in gold. Everybody's probably like, Dyer, why are you spending so much time on rats? In this episode, they're like, yes, Dyer, more with the rats. They're awesome. Because they are. Yes. Excellent. Alright. So no idea what happened to my farm. I'll fix it at some point in the future. Anyway, for now... Let's see. We got a lot of quartz. Yeah, we've got 2.2. That's a lot of quartz. That is a lot of quartz. I love it. All right, so now, uh, can I get my constructor? Start, start. Perfect. So we've got our destructor. We've got our constructor. We're going to want some cables. Uh, and then we're going to want that upgrade, right? So let's look at making one of these. So what we really need uh, is a couple bookshelves. I should probably just turn off my wood farm at this point. You think we got enough wood going on? I feel like we got enough wood going on.
I feel like we got enough wood going on, right? Yeah, I'm going to say yes to that. So this should stop now, yeah. Oh, I see what's happening. When I stop him, his little hands are pushing the lever. That's funny. I forget, I, I, I thought it was like because I happened to click it or be standing there as, I, as it was going by. But yeah, with it, with it stopping, it's going this other direction now, which is funny. Okay, that's cool, I'm down with that. Okay. Not, in, not intended, but okay, that works. I might even get rid of all the... Wow, you guys grew really quickly. You know what I might do? Here's what I might do. I'm gonna turn you off so that you guys go back into block form. Yeah, I like that plan. Go on. Yeah, moving him is not easy. There we go. And I'm just going to turn you off. There. I like that better. I like that better. I feel like that's a better way to disable this farm. I'm just going to get rid of all the saplings. I feel like they're unnecessary. Perfect. So now, back to what I was working on. Because I just happened to notice I had like a stupid amount of wood. I mean, at some point we're going to need that back on, right? Um, so we want the bookshelves, right? Uh, and then the only other thing we need is Fortune 3 book. So how are we going to go about getting one of those? What I'm thinking is, let's see what Fortune 3 can be applied to. Um, and see if there's any special tool that will only get fortune. Didn't we say that the, the star metal thingy only got fortune? Am I right about that? <clears throat> um, star metal cutting tool. Um, he can have reactive magnet soul bound fortune. Mending, unbreaking. So, I mean, he's likely to get fortune, right? So I could make a star metal cutting tool to get fortune on. Like, he's likely to get fortune, right? So what's involved in making one of you? Uh, star metal, two gold, and two infused wood planks. Three gold, actually. Three gold. Star metal, infused wood planks. And uh, my wand thingy. I don't think I need that on me at the moment. Now, please don't be one of those things that has to be made at night. Oh, you are. Boo! I think it's actually turning into night, so... Should be ready to craft in, like, a minute. Back in a minute. Hooray! So now what I'm going to do is get some books... And this will be the sneaky way to get lots of fortune if I need it, right? So we'll just enchant you with some of this and some of this. He said, remembering that he doesn't have any actual experience. Now, I don't know how much we're going to need, but soulbound? Unbreaking? Unbreaking? Nope, not that. So we're going to cycle this a little bit, and it shouldn't take too long to find... Um, Fortune, right? That's why I gave myself a few extra levels. I knew... I knew what we would be running into here. Unbreaking. Didn't this... Wasn't this easier last time? There's air affinity, but I'm pretty sure I can't apply that to my head. But we'll find out. I thought this was a slam dunk last time. Alright, back in a minute once I actually get fortune. It shouldn't be that hard to get, because there's very few things that this that this dude can get, right? Here we go, finally got it. Fortune 3. Nice. 
All right, so you guys all go away. You are unnecessary and can go away. And we've now got a Fortune 3 book along with Unbreaking 3 that I don't care about and Soulbound that I don't care about. But there's Fortune 3. You guys can chill in there. And that sounds cool to me. So now we got, I'm gonna just put you away. We've got our enchanted book, Fortune 3, which means I can now craft this, which is a Fortune 3 upgrade. So check this out. If we've got fluorite ore, uh, and we were to construct or destructor this, right? Now, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this, probably in my sub-basement, because I suspect there may be some sounds going on. Don't know what I'm talking about? You'll find out really soon. Um, so let's do it like here and here. That sounds like a plan to me. So what I'm gonna want is destructor on you. Um, actually, yeah, that should be cool. And what I'm gonna do, let's have you only work with redstone for a moment so I can set you up as the constructor, right? Um, mm -hmm. So now, ignored items. So you're gonna place things, right? I thought constructors could place more. Okay, I guess they can. So if we wanna filter what blocks are placed here, we're gonna need multiple constructors. Yeah, probably. We are probably gonna need multiple constructors because we're going to also want quartz and diamond at the very least, right? But let's get some quartz, for example, right? So we've got four quartz right now. If I place this here, we've now got five quartz, right? But what I'm gonna do is install my fortune upgrade and we check out quartz. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set up a muffler here real quick. Anchor one. Radius. Seven block radius. I want cows to be quiet. Nah. And that should be cool. Shh. Hey. What did I say about shh? It's making that noise if it's not. If it's not. If it's not. There it is. It's item bucket empty Minecraft. Cool. All right. So now we're going to install the fortune upgrade, right? If we check out quartz, we've got five. I place this dude. Quartz, we've now got six. All right. So that was just bad luck, I assume. Okay. That was just bad luck, I assume. All right. That was just bad luck, I assume. All right. That was better. That was better. 11 that time. 12. 13, 14, 15. I'm not getting the warm fuzzies here. I did install the fortune upgrade, yes? Yes. I assume this would work. 18, 19, 23. So that's better. It's still not great. So what if I did this? This is what I'm going for, right? So we're occasionally getting the fortune. Yeah, no, it's working. It's working. Not as good as I had hoped for, but it's better than better than not, right? Now here's my next question. Can I throw some speed upgrades in you guys? What if we got six of them? Yeah? What if we got six of these bad boys? So we take these six speed upgrades, we put three of them in the constructor, put three of them in the destructor. Technically we can do one more, right? Brilliant, I love it. You can build a little beat to this, right? Better than note blocks. Now, in addition to this, we wanted our fluorite, yes? So if I did this and did this, now we should be getting lots of fluorite. Nice. Where was all my fluorite going, you ask? Remember, it was going to the export thingy back over at my reactor area. So that's pretty good. I mean, I feel like we're getting some good numbers here in fluorite land, right? Yeah, that's cool. So did I make more constructors? I mean, technically we don't need the speed upgrades. Yes, they're nice, but they're not super necessary. But I think I'm gonna throw diamond 
Do I want to throw diamonds in here? I don't know if I want to throw diamonds. I definitely want to throw quartz. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna absolutely... No, oh, I missed it. I was hoping. We're gonna just try again. Nope. Nope! <laughs> I'm turning off the distract. It was worth a try. I was hoping I could sneak it in there. Uh, but if I turn you off for a sec... Uh, and we do this with a little bit of cabling. And I'm gonna make you quartz. So now quartz and fluorite will both do the thing. Now if I give you a redstone signal through this block, will you work? Yep, that'll do. I like that. Just nice and stuck away in the corner in our sub-basement, right? So now when our fluorite's all gone, which I can simulate now, here at placing the, the quartz. Oh, that's right, you need speed upgrades for your constructor, don't you? I mean, it's not, the speed upgrades aren't necessary per se. They also don't hurt. All right, so this is working out pretty well. So the gist is now, anytime we get either fluorite or netherite, it'll sit here, it'll place it all. Um, and are my speed upgrades done? Yeah, they are. Beautiful, right? I mean, that was pretty cool. Like, there's other ways to automate that, obviously. Um, but I feel like that's, like, the most efficient. I mean, yes, you could do something like put your flux bore in there or some other tool. But almost all tools either have durability or RF charge that you have to worry about. So with this method, you don't have to worry about... Really, like guys? Talk. Very rude. Can we not? Very rude. Speaking. Yeah, I got a bell. I'm very proud of you. So anyway, what was I saying? Things. Right. So uh, any other method is going to require, like, monitoring the RF in the tool and extracting it when it's out and recharging it and then putting it back into whatever block you're using to do the right clicking or digging with. So, like, there's other things that you could obviously do to set this up. That's one of the many ways. So, hey, look, everything's back up and running, right? We were out of fluorite. We are now no longer out of fluorite. Everybody's happy. We can see our yellow cake uranium and sulfur dust cooking in here just fine. He's producing all the stuff we need, and we should see a reactor getting happy once again. Now, I haven't paid attention to this in a really long time, and I probably should have. Wow, no gas stored, really? So are you telling me that literally all of this is... I don't know how much was in there, but I suspect a lot. Antimatter production stuff ready to go-ish. Should I thinking about it. Should I? Hmm. Maybe what we should do is increase the speed at which this can extract. So do you think I could do ultimates real quick? Could I do an ultimate induction provider and sell? Do you think that's possible? What would be involved here? Missing two diamonds, because of course we are. Uh, yeah, we are definitely low on diamonds, and that's something else we should resolve. I can't tell it feels to me like that isn't as fortunate as this. It might just be my imagination. That's very possible. Or it might just be Minecraft RNG. Also very possible. But at the same time, just because it feels that way. So see, it last time I did this, I did it with this. And I did uh, a 7x7 seven seven area. This time I'm going to, but not place on top. I want horizontal first. Yeah. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna hang on to a little bit of diamond ore. You never know when you want the ore. But you think I can pull off an induction provider cell? Just curious, right? Provider would increase your output rate to 52 million RF a tick. <laughs> that's funny. From six. Um, and yeah, I mean, that seems doable, right? Uh, available 682, available 1236. I mean, that seems like we have plenty of what we need. Yeah, I'm liking that. Um, and then what if we threw an ultimate cell in there as well. That adds 1.6 trillion RF capacity here. Also, that is craftable. So I'm excited about those two things being doable. So let's let all the craftings occur. And we'll be, uh, we'll be right back once all this is complete. All right, crafting complete. So let's take our ultimate induction doohickeys. I should be able to just break into this guy without actually losing much. And then boom and boom. And we've got a lot more space in there if we need it. Hooray! It almost looks like we lost our raft, but just remember, we, we gained capacity. 
right? So we've still got our 77 billion RF. We've got the capacity for 1.8 trillion RF. Some ridiculous numbers there. Uh, and what I'm gonna do, I think, is come over here and I'm gonna limit this guy to be, yeah, 2.5 seems like a good number, actually. I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna get all sides of this guy ready to, to do energy on that point, right? So your, your output is gonna be that, 2.5 million RF a tick. And you're gonna fill up the internal buffer, which is 400 million, right? So that's a good time. Cool. And then we can have fun with lightning bolts. I'm only doing this for visual purposes, remember. You really technically only need one of these, I think. I don't know if the multi-block will form without them on all six sides, but technically you only need to feed power into one of them. But since I built them already, I might as well, you know, power them up. Now let's be very careful with breaking things. I should have tested that I was in one by one mode. I didn't because I'm a genius, but that's okay. It's okay, it, it just so happened that I was in one by one mode. So thankfully that's not a problem. Eat. All right, so now you're ready to go. So now if I activate you with this lever, bam, we are processing 0 0.147 millibuckets per tick. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Energy input is 58.9. 58 million RF a tick. Did I leave somebody without a limit? So that's interesting. Oh, you've got disable limit set. Nah, let's enable limit here. All right, so now we're doing that. So 15 million RF a tick, right? Because six times 2.5 is 15. Yeah, makes sense to me. Sweet. Yeah, I mean, this thing will literally eat as much... Oh my goodness, we are draining power like nobody's business. We drained a lot a minute ago, and now we're draining a real lot. So this is why we need to... Just for the antimatter purposes, we need to... Turn you off for a sec. Now, hopefully, all the polonium that's in this tube will disappear, and then clear these guys out, and everybody will be happy. But look how cool that looks. I love how cool that looks. The only wish is that these were connected textures. That would be my only wish for this multi-block. But it looks way cooler with all six of these active with lightning, doesn't it? Doesn't that look way better? It really does. Uh, I should activate you, by the way, then. So we start producing power again. Because we are 100% draining lots of power from this thing. Yeah, see, we're down to 19 billion RF. See, we literally just burned through almost 60 billion RF. That's how much power this antimatter production. I will give Mechanism this credit. I will say that while, yes, their production of RF is ridiculously high for some things, their usage of RF is also ridiculously high for some things. And for that, I am very pleased. And I'll tell you why. Because I hate when mods are like, yeah, you can make, you know, 20 million RF a tick, but you have nothing to use it for. Like, I kind of like when there's effort involved in like there's a reason to make things right like yes it's funny to make 20 billion rf or whatever but like if you don't ever need that much even a little bit like if you never even need close to that much then it's kind of meh right there's no reason to do it and then it just kind of feels like you know a waste of time so like me personally if i really want to amp up antimatter production which i kind of do just for fun uh i really think that we should focus on generating both more rf and probably more of this stuff, right? Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now, the problem, obviously, the problem is, is these pressurized tubes are just full of gas. I don't love that. I don't love that they have so much um, gas storage, I guess. But I mean, that's what I get for using the ultimate pressurized tubes. I should have used some smaller ones if I wanted less gas storage. But meh. But meh. I might replace them at some point. Just remember, if you break those tubes, they're full of a radioactive gas. So you will definitely cause more radiation in your chunks if you do that. And look, the numbers are definitely going down, which is nice. Which is nice. Um, hey, buddy. How are you? Do I want to do the thing? Meh. Not really. Not right now, at least. All right. So I think that's wrapping up point for the episode. So let's wrap up here. I'll get the world download ready because this was episode 80, right? Was this episode 80? Yeah, it was. Nice. Uh, so you guys should have some fun toys to play with from the last 10 episodes in the world download here. We'll come back next time and we may wind up uh, ramping up 
RF production, again. Because, believe it or not, like, we have a lot of storage. And keep in mind, we can fit way more things in here. Way more storage inside the multi-block. So if we really wanted to get nuts, we could get nuts. So maybe fusion is in our future. Maybe, uh, I don't know, other stuff. But for now, let's wrap it up point. Down with 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.